my name is Christine and we're in front of uh, Tokyo Big Site. My name is Joseph Tame and yes, we're here today for the Wireless Japan Expo. So we're hoping to see some really cool devices. Um, maybe some mobile technology like cell phones. Yeah, maybe some solar powered cell phones. We've been uh, seeing adverts on the trains for these kinds of things. And um, maybe some concept, new concept devices. Yeah, so it should be good. Okay, so we're here at the uh, KDDI booth now. And, uh, yeah. We're going to check out their newest technology. We hope they've got some really funky gadgets that get us all really excited and wanting to throw away our iPhones. <laughs> Let's check it out. Alright. Okay, so she has the TV on right now. And I can hear the I can hear TV. Oh, what, what are we watching? Is it interesting? I don't know. I think it's NHK. Oh, oh it's NHK. Okay, okay. No! No! Don't do it! Oh my god! She's put it in the water! <laughs> It's okay, is it? Wow, oh yeah! How long is okay? Three minutes. Three minutes. Three minutes. Three minutes. Thirty minutes. Thirty minutes. Thirty minutes. Wow. So I guess this is for talking to dolphins. Pretty handy. And how how deep? One meter. Two meter. One meter. One meter. One meter underwater. Right. Fantastic. Okay. Thank you very much. And I think over here, you uh, see we've got solar powered phones. Solar powered. Imagine leaving your cell phone in the sun all day. This uh, front section here is the solar panel. Let's have a look at the statistics. Okay. 30 minutes in direct sunlight, how long do you reckon it will give you to talk? Is it 1 minute, 2 minutes or 10 minutes? <laughs> I, I'd like to say 10 minutes. Yeah. Really? I know. No. <laughs> you can't say 10 minutes, it's 2 minutes. It's 2 minutes! And if you leave it out in the sun for 90 minutes, you will get a total of 9 minutes <laughs> talk time. Walking 9 minutes! <laughs> so, uh... Would you buy it? I don't know, do you think this is actually practical or is this just a gimmick? I think the latter. I think it's a gimmick. Never mind, it's a start. But at least you can leave your cell phone in direct sunlight. Yeah. Okay, so we're over in the Dokuma corner looking at their solar powered phones. They have one here which is very much like the one we saw from AU before with similar specs. Um, Christ Christine, what, yeah. what, are you, what are you reading? Oh! It looks oh. like a really good book. I'm not, I'm not reading at all. <gasps> wow! It's a, it's a solar panel. It's incredible. Oh, so, um, how much power are you going to get out of that? I mean, so, I was, I was talking to uh, you know, the Pomo guy here, and uh, he said that you know, for char after char being charged <laughs> 10 hours, um, that could um, charge up a um, cell phone. Oh, like right, full so battery. Full yeah, full charge. Ten hours. Okay. And what's, what's this here? Oh, so what he was explaining was you charge this, and then you can check. Um, you can charge this, and then uh, charge right. your cell phone, or you can uh, charge your cell phone directly from the solar panel. Uh, okay, so you could, for example, if you're out camping, yes. you could have this outside your tent all day charging yeah. the battery. And then when you go to the beach, you take the battery with you and charge your mobile phone. Yes. Fantastic. So how does this compare to uh, what we were looking at before? Well, I think compared to that, to these kinds of mobile phones, it's a lot more um, effective. I mean, you know, you're getting a lot more power out of it. But I think one thing is, is that these um, solar technologies are still so young that the amount of energy that goes into producing one of them actually wipes out all the set, all the savings in terms of greenhouse gases and carbon, whatever. It's just not worth it. So it's a bit of a gimmick, but would you buy one? Um, well, it's actually not on the market. It's oh. just for show right oh. today. Oh, well, I, I would get one. If I could plug it into my iPhone, I'd get one. <laughs> <laughs> 